can see here that I have mapped now also my connection to router 3, which is 1.3. So if I do a debug frame relay packet and a debug IP packet, now if I go ahead and try to ping 192.168.1.3 you can see now that I'm not getting any errors on router 2 so let's go to router 1 and see what we see since it's the hub if I do a debug frame relay packet and a debug IP packet on router 1. Let's see what happens here. So if I start the ping on router 2, as you can see on router 1 doesn't look like anything is happening. If we go to router 3 and do a debug IP packet and a debug frame relay packet, And we'll go ahead and start that ping again. So ping in router 3 from router 2. As you can see now, it looks like our ping requests are, are getting to router 3 via router 1. Okay, so the ping is coming through. If we look at router 2, if we do a show frame relay map, you can see here that from router 2's perspective, we have a way to reach router 3 via DELSI 201. So it's sending this ping request, this ICMP request out serial 10. Router 1, if we were to do a show frame relay map, you can see here that router 1 has a mapping as well to 1.3 so it takes this request sends it out del c 103 which is its connection to router 3 however router 3 gets this request you can see here with the source of 192.168.1.2 which is router 2 and the destination of 192.168.1.3 which is the local interface on router 3 here. However, when it goes and it tries to reply to this this request, this ping, you can see here the source 192.168.1.3 tries to figure out how to get to 192.168.1.2. However, you can see here that we're receiving a similar message of encapsulation failed. So what's that telling us on router 3 is that we don't have the map on router 3 to get back to the destination of 192.168.1.2 which is router 2 because the encapsulation failed which is uh, a good indication that it's a, uh, uh, a layer 2 issue. So on router 3, if we do a show frame relay map, as you can see here, we have our mapping statement to router 1's IP address. However, we don't have the uh, mapping statement to router 2's IP address. So what we need to do on router 3 is go under interface 010, and we need to create that static frame relay map to router 2. Again, we do that by specifying frame relay map IP. Then here we're going to put in router 2's IP address, which is 192.168.1.2. And then we're going to put out the local DELSI, how we're going to reach router 2, which is via DELSI 301, because that's the local DELSI on router 3. So now what we should see here is we should see the 
the ICM the ping ICMP request come in to router three, then router three now if we do a show frame relay map, router three now has router two's IP address uh, configured and the Delsi configured. So router three, when it receives this request, it should be able to send out the ICMP uh, echo reply back to router two. And we should be successful. Because now we have the static frame relay maps uh, both on router are on both on router three, on router two, and on router one. We have all the all our mappings. So if I go back to router two now and do a a ping to router three, you can see here there now that I'm successful. And you can also see on router three that you can see here now with the source, the echo uh, request comes in with the source of router two, destination is router three. Then you can see here now that we're not seeing an encapsulation failed anymore. We're seeing the source now from, we're seeing the ICMP echo reply from 1.3 to 1.2, which is router 2. And now on router 3, if we go ahead and try to ping router 2, 192, 168, 1.2, uh, here you can see we're successful as well. Okay, so I guess that's going to wrap it up with our frame relay uh, lab. Again, we just went over how to create uh, a simple frame relay uh, hub and spoke topology uh, using uh, frame relay static commands, mapping commands, to map the local DELCs to our layer 3 IP addresses. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope to see you uh, on the next videos.